my current king of fidget knives and my first video on YouTube. In this combination, CRKT has a guaranteed sale if they release a similar bearing pivot manual knife. This has about six methods of deployment. Now some things to check out, now, uh, Troy's flooring solution started uh, to post some videos. He has three up right now, he seems to have a knack for it. Uh, check out the postings uh, for uh, the knives that he has up and the tools, because he definitely uses them. And uh, if you uh, agree with that, uh, go and support him. Head over to his channel for Troy's flooring solutions. Also a big thank you to uh, Jack Farmboy, actually won an R2D2. So uh, at that point, uh, it's really great to get that knife. Uh, so a kind of legitimate reviewer at that point once you have an R2-D2. Uh, but very skilled storyteller, uh, very great channel. So check him out. He just reached over 200 subscribers. So good job to him. And thank you to those folks that are uh, enjoying the content. And then also a brass or copper scale uh, backspacer or a scale uh, for your CRKT Pilar. Uh, so I do have the one with the blue, which is the... Uh, one that's a uh, Blade HQ exclusive, uh, but if you do want to get one with a copper or a brass scale or even a backspacer, uh, then check out uh, that on my Instagram for Jason Machen. Machen. I apologize if I screwed that up, but check it out. Uh, so he has uh, he is building some things as well, uh, but this one here uh, is my uh, tie tack two uh, Brian tie design. Over 30 years of experience in uh, designs, names such as the Tie Fighter, Tie Die, uh, Twist Tie, Tie Breaker, My Tie, Buy Tie, Tie Raid, and one of my favorites, names the Tie Knee. Uh, so this one is the Tie Tac 2. I can be purchased for under uh, $40, either in the Clip Point or the Tanto, and the MSRP is uh, $59.99. So that's one thing that's about this one, is it's a great fidget knife. There's no real hiding that I really love this knife. Uh, button lock um, is a great way to go. And then as I said, there's about six, me six methods of deployment for this. Uh, so you do have the thumb flick, you have the middle finger flick, you have the button lock, so just depressing this. You have light switch, you have push button, and then you have inertia, if we can get this. So a lot of those things there. Uh, so if you know any knives that can dethrone this, uh, then let me know, because I'm open to checking out some different different knives. So this is 8CR13 MOV uh, for the blade steel. Uh, so not the highest as far as that. So for this one, so I'm going through it, so 8CR13 MOV. So kind of low on the scale, low on the scale for hardness, then low on the scale for uh, wear resistance, and also for edge retention, you know, right below OS 8. Uh, so it's not too bad. I mean, it is something that you're going to have to touch up every now and then, but if you're going for those no, kind of more uh, budget lineups, they offer so many different styles, so many different um, designs that it's worth checking out. And it's really, I really love the way it goes. And then if this is any type of example, if you, if you feel that it's really popular and you really support them, uh, they will make different knives, so different scales. They have one that's coming out with carbon fiber and also now with a upgraded uh, blade steel as well. So not a huge jump, but it is an upgrade. So support them and then they'll offer some different things as well uh, for those. So with the comparison for that, we're gonna look at some of the other knives here. So CRKT TITAC 2. Uh, this is going to be my CH, one of my favorites as far as the flippers, CH3001. Uh, you have another one, which is my most recent one, which is from Patty's sale, as far as that coupon code. So the 60063, or 7063, I apologize for that, uh, but that's going to be that knife. And then my backlock knife, probably my best one that I have. And then Blade HQ has a few of these left over, so if you do want to pick one up, not in this color, but they do have it. And then one of the other ones that I fidget with quite a bit is my Kershaw. 
And then you're saying, oh, well, you should just get a different button lock. Well, I did. I got the Tangram, but it's, it's getting better. But this is a knife where you really need to be stubborn because it gets better over time if you're willing to work with it. So going back and looking at some of the, the sizing for this, so do you have the hand sizing chart to allow you to be able to tell how it's going to look in your hand? And so we're going to bring that out so you can see it for yourself. So for this one, we're going to actually go and bring you in a little bit and we'll see what that looks like. So I'm going to start off with a dealt women's hand. That sizing. And then uh, for a male. And this one says to be about 3.4 ounces in weight. Uh, so we're going to just double check that real quick. Zero that out. Three point three, so a little bit less. Let's see that in grams. So ninety-three grams. And then one of the other things that I, I play around with as well is the uh, pull test. Now, so this one is where I use the Lyman uh, pull gauge. This is something a lot of the firearm community knows about. But I found that it actually offers a little bit of data. Uh, to folks as well to know how much weight is needed or pressure is needed to actually open or deploy uh, their blade. So that's a little bit over an ounce. Try that one more time. So one pound nine and then in grams that's going to be 709. So to get an idea uh, so that's 1.9 uh, for for that knife. Uh, this knife, which I fidget with a lot, uh, this one's probably about three pounds of pressure needed to actually deploy. Uh, so you're gonna have a little bit more wear on your finger for this knife uh, than you're gonna be doing for this one here. But some of the cons, I mean, it is right hand only, so right hand uh, tip up only. It does have uh, kind of a hot spot uh, for the middle finger so if you are going to bear down on it, this little spot here is going to be a little bit of a pressure point unless you really uh, cram your fingers up in that spot. And then there is a slight uh, blade play that's noticeable in kind of up and down. And so the, the Tangram does have a better lockup in that sense. Uh, so that is a good thing there. But as always, I would, for buy, borrow, or avoid, I would recommend buying this knife. Uh, so there's two different blade styles. So if you don't like the blade style, then go with another one. Uh, but uh, if there, if the, either one isn't your style, uh, then I've heard that 2019, they will have some different button locks. Uh, so I really look forward to that. And if that's the case, uh, I'll be one of the first in line to pick one up. And then so check that out with CRKT. So again, thank you for your time. I appreciate the feedback. And let me know what you think.